Mechanical engineering design process is another important part of the designer's job. The decisions made by the designers of a building's HVAC system are crucial in determining thermal comfort, indoor air quality, and the efficiency of the building's energy use. Air exchange rates affect the amount of energy used to heat or cool fresh air and the energy lost when used air is exhausted. ASHRAE requirements for ventilation include minimum rates for replacing previously circulated air in the building with fresh air. Buildings that allow natural ventilation as well as those that employ such techniques as heat reclamation, thermal storage systems, and flexible air handling, and chiller units lower energy use and reduce costs. Typically, the architect and engineers decide which systems to employ, but the responsibility for finding appropriate solutions depends on the entire design team. The goals of the mechanical engineer are to achieve an environment in which people are comfortable and to meet the requirements of applicable codes. By calculating how much heating or cooling is required to achieve comfort, the engineer develops design strategies that affect both the architecture and the mechanical systems of the building. The engineer will figure out how big the HVAC system components should be in order to provide enough heating and or cooling for the most extreme conditions. Calculate the amount of energy used for normal conditions in a typical season and adjust the design to reduce long-term energy use. Consider the number of people using the building both seasonally and hourly. Consider the amount of heat gained or lost from the outside environment. Evaluate the materials, areas, and rates of heat flow through the building's envelope to determine how they affect this calculation. Look at the volumes of the spaces in the building and the rates of fresh air exchange to determine the amount of fresh air needed. And lastly, the engineer will suggest window locations and other design elements that minimize the heat gain within the building. The phases of the engineering design process are similar to those of architects and interior designers. Preliminary design, design development, design finalization and specification, and construction. During the preliminary design phase, the engineer considers the most general combinations of comfort requirements and climate characteristics, lists the schedule of activities that will take place in the space along with the conditions required for comfort during performance, analyzes the site's energy resources, lists design strategies to accommodate the climate, considers building form alternatives with the architect, reviews available systems including both passive or non-mechanical and active alternatives, figures out the size of one or more alternative systems using general design guidelines. In small buildings the architect may do the system design. For larger, more complex buildings the mechanical engineer will work as a team with architects, landscape architects, and the interior designer. The team approach helps assess the value of a variety of design alternatives arising from different perspectives. When mutual goals are agreed upon early in the design process, this team approach can lead to creative innovations. Creative teamwork can also lead to new designs that offer better environments with less energy use. During the design development phase, one alternative is usually chosen as the best combination of aesthetic, social, and technical solutions for the building's program. The engineer is given the latest set of drawings and programming information for the building, lists with the architect the range of acceptable air and surface temperatures, air motions, relative humidities, lighting levels, and background noise levels for each activity to take place in the building, develops a schedule of operations for each activity, determines the thermal comfort zones by considering these activities and their schedule, the amount of heat that will be generated by the activities, and the building's orientation, establishes the thermal load for the worst winter and summer conditions, and for average conditions during the majority of the building's operating hours for each zone, may estimate the building's annual energy consumption, 
selects the HVAC systems, more than one system may be used to meet different conditions in a large building, identifies the components of the HVAC system and locates them within the building, mechanical rooms, distribution trees, and components like fan coil units under windows and air grills within specific spaces all have to be selected and located. And lastly, the engineer specifies sizes for the components of the HVAC system by drawing sections through the building. Architects and engineers can identify clearance problems and see opportunities to coordinate the HVAC system with other building systems. The process of design finalization involves the designer of the HVAC system verifying the load on each component and the component's ability to meet this load. Then the final drawings and specifications are completed. During construction, the engineer may visit the site to ensure that work is proceeding according to design as well as to deal with unanticipated site conditions.